Hello, welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. On this episode, you could tell that Joe is here. What doesn't make sense, Joe? It's not Warhammer. Yeah, yes, it, it is technically Warhammer, technically I guess. It it's from the same company, yeah. Games Workshop, using a, a new system. Now, I have uh, for you today uh, a new game in honor of Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, <laughs> which has been so bad, so awful. They just had this battle. It was pathetic, Jay. Have you seen the battle, no. Episode 7? No. We've seen the battle. It's really bad. The and look at it, Lord the of the Rings <laughs> is being done dirty right now. So I thought, man, you know what? And I started get reading the lore, and I started reading and watching the Peter Jackson films. And I'm like, man, I just want to play something good. I want something good for Lord of the Rings. So today we are going to play. I've got it all set up here. Is boom. Uh, this is Lord of the Rings from Games Workshop. Now, uh, all you really need is one book. Boom. L rules manual for Lord of the Rings. Technically, what we're going to be playing today is the Hobbit version. Only because it's a self-contained little, uh, what is it, like attack on goblin town. So there's a box set that comes with a bunch of goblins and the heroes along with Bilbo and Gandalf. So just because it's like an easy to get in learn with some setup scenarios right there, that's where we're going to start. And frankly, The Hobbit is not quite as good, the movies, yeah. as uh, Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings. But as trash as The Hobbit is, it is way better than the steaming pile that is uh, Rings of Power. But uh, this game has been going on forever at Games Workshop, but this is the latest uh, version. And if you want to get several different armies, which I already have a few armies for this game, you get this one, Armies of Lord of the Rings. Or if you want to go even deeper, you can get armies from The Hobbit. So with these two books, this is every single army in the game. Uh, each one doesn't need its own codex. They're all right here. So when you get these three, you're you're set and good to go. So I've got these three. However, we are using the smaller self-contained Hobbit uh, attack on uh, Goblin Town uh, and the introductory scenarios to that. So we're just going to learn the game as we go along, and hopefully we like it. The <laughs> game system is, is interesting because uh, there's like mill why. Your will, uh, f uh, might, and fate. And so some people on Etsy make these cool little, uh, you know, uh, game aids where you put the dice here to track your, uh, track your wounds, might, will, and fate. Uh, so, but what were you going to say, Jay? Uh, it does get a lot more praise than traditional uh, other games workshop games. Yeah. They say this one's been a, a, a stalwart uh, without having to change the rules or anything. Yeah. And the rules are pretty simple and pretty uh, easy to catch on to. So as you see here, I got I got uh, a, a cool little two by two because the introductory game and, and many of the games I itself can be played on two by two. You can go larger maps. But for this instance, we are underground. We're in Goblin Town. So I thought it'd be cool to have like a little dungeon area. Yeah. So... I have 18 goblins with six more in reserve. I have the Goblin King. I have the Goblin Scribe. That's this little uh, dude uh, somehow being suspended by this thing. And then I have Grinna right here. He's a dude with the whip. All right. So that is the Goblin Town Force. Let's go to uh, Thorin's company here, and Jay is in control of these guys. Who are these, Jay? All right, so we have Killy, Philly, mm -hmm. Thorin. We've got uh, yeah. Thorin. Thorin, yep. This is Ori. That is Nori. Ori. Uh, Gloin, uh, the father of Gimli. Gloin, and then last guy, Dwalin. Dwalin, yeah. yeah. Okay, Joe. What forces are you in control over here? I have Bowlin. Bowlin in the middle. Bilfer. Bilfer. Bofer. Bofer. And then that's Bomber. Bomber. 
Bomber. And then that is Owen. Another Owen. This is Dory and Bilbo. And Dory and Bilbo. <laughs> Bilbo Baggins. All right. Well, let's see. Can uh, Thorin's company get out of Goblin Town? Y'all's mission Oops. is to exit with 12 <laughs> models. My mission is to kill only three dwarves. So I guess I don't really care about killing Bilbo since Bilbo is, you know, he's a Baggins and nobody cares about him because uh, he's a hobbit. All right, so let's uh, let's begin the game. Okay, so at the end of the movement, it looks like Joe took an entire company on one of the uh, flanks. Uh, Jay has uh, a little bit fewer on the flanks, some in the middle. So I have reacted by moving my goblins towards Joe in that direction of the flank. I got three goblins moving up towards the middle. The six goblins in the back have split four for Jay, two for Joe, because I don't respect Joe. <laughs> and uh, the Goblin King is kind of waiting here in the center to provide support for where he goes. So uh, let's move on to the next phase, which is the shooting phase. At the end of turn two, this is what it looks like. Uh, Jay's Thorin's companies have slaughtered uh, three, maybe four goblins. Uh, Joe got uh, over here. Joe got two goblins, started shoving back. The only one that lost really was Balin, and he didn't take any damage. But Philly, Philly, whatever took damage. Philly, yeah. pushed. Philly. Philly and Philly. So Philly got got hurt. Yep. All right. So yeah. my four goblins there versus your one guy uh, with holding that double-handed, and we are rolling to duel. Beat a six, Joe. Come on. Ah! <laughs> no way! <laughs> You fucking bastard. That yeah. was the only roll, Joe. Yeah. Wow. And your fight value is definitely a higher than yeah. a goblin fight it's a value. It's four. So now what happens but he only has is one all of attack. my fighters are pushed back one inch. He has a... And luckily I could go this way. I'm, I'm curious if like you're forced to go off one way, but I'll look it up. So you have one attack with a three, uh, needing a four. Oh, J1. There you go. Six. And kills kill one. one. Wow. Yeah. Go ahead and remove one of those goblins, Joe. Let me just get that Dang. closest one right there. Uh, four. Six. <sighs> the one time I roll well. And that is Goldwyn. He has uh, Gimli's father. Three right attacks. Right in the middle. Yeah. With strength four and eating fours. Got him. One last one. This goblin here on the right, he's got a three. Five. God, I lost all three. Nori has two attacks, a strength four, needing four. Got him. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So uh, one other thing about this game is normally when you have run an army, your troops are mostly the same, so you yeah, know their yeah, stats. Yeah. In this, right. everybody's a hero everybody's, almost, yeah, so that's different. why you're like, okay, I did it. Blah, blah, blah. But other than that, I think it's running pretty smooth. Yeah, no, I All like right. it. All right, give me a three. I think I'm going to miss that. Yes. And then finally, Bilbo Baggins. Let's see if Bilbo Baggins has what it takes to fight. Oh, I tripped. Oh, oh the goblin trip. Wait, wait a Bilbo? minute. Oh, Bilbo is a What's three. The He's a three. No He's way. A three. <laughs> I'm a two. Bilbo lucked All out. Right, so he has one attack, strength two. Can Bilbo kill a goblin? You need a five to kill him. Six. Oh! Get the <laughs> fuck out of here, Bilbo Baggins. With his sting. Bag, bag, bags himself a fucking thing. Wait, didn't it Frodo the head sting? He had it first. Yeah. Oh, he did that's true. That's yeah. right. Yes. Look at that memory there. All right. Starting with Jay's guys, uh, Thorin is just going to absolutely obliterate this guy if I don't score, if I don't duel higher. I just rolled a six off camera. Five. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> and you just pull him? No. He's dead. He's dead. Now I'll pull him. Okay. All right. Uh, let's do the one-on-one. -on -one. <coughs> okay. Doing a turn summary. We had to learn the game a little bit. So this is turn summary, turn five. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Joe has had Balin over there, the dwarf with the uh, red uh, clothing and white beard, kind of leading this pack here, uh, doing uh, kind of losing and, and getting pushed back a lot. 
Uh, Baolin has uh, one wound on him, but they've killed a ton of goblins. It's just more and more goblins are coming at him. So what he decided to do was split off some of his forces and try to come up the center. So with the center, he had uh, Bilbo over there and those two dwarves, no, actually three dwarves right there. I managed to do another damage to that guy there in the center. Uh, and it's hard for us to remember these guys' names. Joe, do you recognize that guy? Biffer. Biffer. And Bilbo actually uh, got attacked by a goblin, and surprisingly, Bilbo, Bilbo used Sting <laughs> to kill a goblin. So Bilbo did his thing. Uh, meanwhile, Jay also split his forces into two. He's got uh, some heroes up there on the ridge, and then uh, Thorin leading the company here, doing very well in the middle, very, very little opposition. Basically just firing bows and axes across the way, killing goblins, supporting their boys here on this side. Um, meanwhile, uh, the Goblin King got into combat did a damage to that dwarf there with that heart who retreated. Uh, and then the second duel, uh, in a later turn, the dwarves ended up winning uh, and doing a damage to the uh, Goblin King. And then later won again, but did no damage whatsoever because of the blubbering mass rule which the king only needs to roll a three plus to ignore any wound. And so far, he's been able to do that pretty effectively. So I think I've jammed up this, this column pretty well. The middle is somewhat weak, uh, and I've jammed up that column. So we're going to see uh, if there's no, because this is the introductory scenario, we couldn't find a term limit. This is more to just learn the game. I think it's uh, somewhat easy. Uh, for the dwarves to win, but frankly, maybe not. All I need to do is kill three dwarves, and I'm halfway there. All right, at the end of turn six, uh, the Joe's forces, instead of opting to sort of charge through the middle and get off, they decided to help their brethren and sort of clean up some of these orcs. So they won a, a few battles here. Uh, only that guy is hurt. What was his name? Bofer. Bofer's hurt. Yeah. Over here... Uh, the battle is continuing, and we finally got our first kill. Uh, Bowlin. Bowlin <laughs> died uh, for the cause. This is for a victory point. Here we go. Bowlin. Can Bowlin oh, do it with up. a three? No, he can't. I, I get two. I need a five to kill Bowlin. That's a moral victory. Yes! Bowlin is dead. <laughs> Joe! They, no, the dwarves turn story. around. Bowling, no! Bumper. One on one. And this dwarf got pissed when he saw Ballin die, so he killed off his goblin. And uh, the, these might be a little bit in trouble. Uh, over here, uh, Jay callously cut down the handicapped goblin, the goblin scribe, <laughs> with Thorin as if he needed to. There is, a, there is another hidden fight that we didn't see. You can hack at the immobile uh, goblin because the oh. goblin's fighting you. This is a fight score of one. Oh. He Five. rolls a one. You win the duel. Uh, and go which ahead. Is, and which is this is just defense. cruel, Jay. Why would you hit a handicap <laughs> a goblin? Goblin, man. What's this, his defense? This, 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 Jay, you're going to get canceled. Defense? His defense is oh, kill his ass. <laughs> two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So threes. Yeah, got him. Ah! As he's running by, stick him. You, you, as you run by, yeah. you stick him. Oh. The goblin scribe <laughs> is dead. <laughs> That's cool. That man. was the end of their history. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, all and then here. this goblin was able to, or uh, this dwarf was able to push back that goblin, but he is hurt. Over here, the dwarf king, or the goblin king, lost his uh, a duel, and uh, but he blocked all three hits, and the other dwarf, those two on one, just did not do any damage. So we're going into turn seven, in which I'll get up to four goblins, because I roll one for each corner, uh, but I think the boys are pretty much uh, smooth sailing from here. They can make a, a misstep and lose uh, still, so let's find out what happens. Sheer number of attacks can 
can kill this dwarf. Six. Are you kidding me? You can That's get it. Six. No, no. <laughs> You've oh, already no, you won. Can't. Yeah, you can't. You've already won. <laughs> Even if you do I get six. I got the six that I needed. <laughs> Yay. But your fight score is... That guy is Four Rambo. And one. We're just renaming um, that yeah. dwarf Rambo. Back but up. he backs up everybody an inch. Okay, I'm done. Asshole. <laughs> <Joe>. <laughs> Who shall not be <laughs> right, hey, We got to get a zoom on this motherfucker right here. Oh. As MVP for Joe. Let's see if I can vote. It's a grand elf. <laughs> That's a grand elf. That's grand a real elf. grand elf right there. <laughs> All right. Let's do that one first. All right. For the win. I need basically for me to win a five and a five. You yeah. know how hard that is. When we play miniatures games, you don't want to be rolling five. Right? Yeah. It could be low. You I need, now I need a six and a five. You said get a five. That's yep. not a six. Right. I lost. So get him. I need a four. And no. No. Damn. Back some up. Okay. But you just back me up an inch. All right. And then. All right. The king. The best chance for a victory is the king who now has three dice versus your one dice. Yep. You ain't going to win this, my friend. Five. But I win. No? Yep. Fuck! 5v5. Five five. Six. Then I have a six versus Gimli's dad, which has a six. So now you oh, roll. Oh, there's still a chance. Oh, the there's still a chance. I, I roll. The priority, the priority player rolls. One through three, evil, evil wins. Yeah. Evil wins. Evil wins. Nope. No! Good <laughs> wins! All right. All fight right. me. Gimli's so fives. dad. Fives. One. One. Uh, can I fail a roll for once? Oh, oh no! he does. He yeah, does. Yeah, so he's got one health left. Yes. The Goblin King only has one health left. He, he thought he was going to win on this I turn. I thought I was going to win on this <laughs> turn. You sons of bitches. That's Woo. it. They have a chance to win it. All right. So the going turn into turn nine. Nine, yeah. Priority you four. You pick. You roll. It's your turn. Oh, my fuck. You got to keep it like that. Ooh. Oh, there Fuck. we go. Damn you. Bro, we've been doing it wrong. Right. Okay, we'll talk about that at the end. Okay. Because it says, if if the fight values of the uh, multiple attacks, many models have more than one attack listed on their profiles. When a model such as this is involved in a fight, simply roll a d6 for each of the model's attacks when making the dual roll. Ah. <laughs> then you, it would have been even harder for me to win. Yeah. So, uh, so roll six like dice that. versus my three. Yeah. Nothing. I got a six. Yeah. So that opens it up even more. Yeah. And I think you like that even more? I, We're all looking for sixes and tying on sixes. Well, in this scenario, it seems like it's going to be off. Um, yeah. But in the future. But in the future, when you yes. have more comparable armies going against each other, I think that's that's Okay. Well, I failed. Uh, you go so, ahead and All right. So uh, fives. Got one. Roll your blubber. Blocked. And then fours. Got two. <gasps> Killed him. Not only do you save <laughs> here, but the Goblin King. <sighs> that was epic. But can we have uh, this? Joe. This is it. Joe. What? Oh, Joe. Oh, yeah. Other OJ. Joe. OJ. 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 So you said it This is the last possible way to, for me to win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if we're using the real method, it is how many ever attacks that guy has. Okay. Which is what? Three. Oh, fuck you guys. <laughs> Let me see. Versus if one, right? Have one. They only have one, right? Yeah, I think they only have oh, one. Oh, shit. All right. Let's do it the right way first. Oh, Five. oh yeah. I need a six. So, man, the goblins are never going to win this. Ooh. Okay, but let's do it the wrong way like we've been doing the whole game. Roll one die. Three. <laughs> I won that. So uh, if we if we play finish doing the wrong way, I would need a five to win the game. Yeah, I missed it by one. Okay. You guys win. We, we would win. You guys win. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. That's be it. Able to get everybody on. Because now... Bilbo gets off. This guy gets off. This guy leaves. These guys pretty much, I think there might be one more turn 
Actually, it might be one more turn than I have uh, with a Goblin King. No, the Goblin King's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah. So maybe w- now, nah. yeah, that's it because the Goblin King moves at six. Huzzah! So we won. The uh, that's we it. Had some casualties along the way. The Just heroes two. win. So who died? Two of Joe's guys died. Who are these guys? So Ballin, Ballin and Biffer. And Biffer, Biffer gave yeah. their lives Biffer. for Bilbo and Thorin's company. <laughs> cool. I like it. Yeah. yeah that was I like a good it. One. I enjoyed Now that we figured it now out. Now that, that we, we know. Figure it out. Yeah. And how to do it. Your first game sleep. is always going to be the worst yeah. and the slowest. And, and you're like, yeah, I hate this longest, game. Yeah. But when you play it again, it's going to be a lot better. It's like burned in my head that like once I connect, I can't. Like I can't connect? escape. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Like, with what with it, other yeah. with Warhammer exactly. games. Yeah. So that's it. It's a victory for good. For me. We played a little wrong. Jay helped a little bit. Um. <laughs> Initially, we were doing one-on-one die rolls for the duels instead of the number, number of attacks. Of attacks. Right. Like, say, the Goblin King has three, so he would be rolling three to try to roll the highest. And a lot of the dwarves had, two. are, are had twos or threes. three dices versus the Goblin's one. That's why they give the Goblin the support ability to where, okay, you get two dice yeah, yeah, if yeah. you get two Goblins in. Which makes or sense, three yeah. dice yeah. if you get three Goblins yeah. in. And so really the only way, you know, rolling those duels fairly is I, if I could stack three Goblins on one guy. Mm-hmm. And then I can have my three versus your two or three yeah. and yeah. potentially win that and then start doing damage. But I liked it. Uh, even the Hobbit, you know, which is, I would say, Lord of the Rings is where I'm having fun. I want Gondor. I yeah. want Rohan. Yeah. And I have those armies. I have Gandalf. I also have, you know, um, the Urukai and the uh, Mordor orcs. So in the future, we, we can play this again yeah, I'd, and I'd use I'd the people to. that we like. Yeah. Uh, uh, but it's pretty cool. cool. I really enjoyed it. I think uh, Games Workshop, uh, you know, people often forget they have another mainline system, game yeah. system, yeah. this one. Yeah. The only thing that's a little fiddly is the pairing off. Yeah, that, that's. But, but I'm once willing you go with to the... get over it yeah. for the. Sp- I, I, it makes sense. For I'm willing story. to forgive it. Yeah. And it does, ha- it's very cinematic. Yes. I don't know why this one feels more cinematic. I think because it's a lot of those one-on-ones and then quickly turning and, and shooting a guy yeah. with an arrow. and the, you got to get away. And that is cinematic. Yeah, it is. Uh, and then when you put that rule in there, everybody has to be paired up at, at initially with mm-hmm. one person. Yeah. And then it kind of evens it out. And By it, priority. It makes it a little bit, yeah, a little bit easier to decipher. I like it. I mean, I'm already at probably like an 8 out of 10, you know, and yeah. we'd have to play it more to see all the intricacies and I'd stuff. I'd be like 7, 8, yeah, yeah, right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, Joe. Yeah, I agree. 7, 8. Uh, seven okay. Eight. All right, guys. Well, thank you all for hanging out with us on Warhammer Wednesday. We will see you back here tomorrow for, unfortunately, the final episode <laughs> of Rings of Power <laughs> that Joe has to review. Ugh. Uh, Jay don't have to see it. Yeah, Jay's no, <laughs> Jay, we're going to see the Joker. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then we also see Joker 2, uh, which I hear is also bad. Uh, so we'll see We'll see how that goes. I can see you'd, you'd better off spending your time playing Games Workshop's uh, Lord of the Rings than you are watching Rings of Power. <laughs> yeah, That's so, a new expansion. So, somebody already yeah. said they had more. Boom. New Arm, expansion. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Rings and of then, Power. You better not. So that's another thing. The expansion uh, they just announced is the War of the Roheim, I think, which is the oh, anime yeah, 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 movie yeah. coming out. So they have a box set that's about to be released with those. I might pick that one up. Um, here is another game system. It's basically this is all that's of the, the old, large old, old, yeah. battles. Yeah. So this is the Battle of the Five Armies using... I think a modified War Master yeah, war, I system, think it was war, war which master. is their Except six for millimeter fantasy. Boom. So yeah, see the six oh, mil. Yeah, yeah. So this is something that Rings of Power can't do, like because it always feels like there's only like thirteen orcs fighting three elves. Well, here you can actually have your full scale uh, fucking uh, wars uh, with Battle of the Five Armies. This one's out of print. This one's not supported yeah, anymore. Yeah. But I've got a painted set, so eventually uh, I'd like to play it and see how it That'd is. That'd be fun, yeah. 
but anyways that's gonna be it for us thank you so much uh for hanging out with us this warhammer wednesday and we'll see you on the next angry joe show bye guys <laughs>